We're broadcasting straight to your screen from Arrow in Your Head Stadium in the appropriately named Carcass City, Misery. It's always festive during MFL season. They bring in all the carcasses and dress them up in Crokeland jerseys. But the smell, oh, oh Lord have mercy. Oh, the smell. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Motor City Maniac battle, the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was going to get him now. You know what happened? <laughs> no, you are the If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Huh? And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, uh, my bad. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. hot. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. One speed, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitting straight through the uprights. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. <laughs> First and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. Football. First down. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way. Holy crap! He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. 
great run for a nine yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Get out of this position. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And the QB might as well just bury himself next. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down. And that's why they call it the money shot. Turn. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving them a size while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. Second and three. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten.
second down and more than the QB would like. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down in a very lot. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Third down and, well, good luck. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. <laughs> First down and five. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down and seven. That was a good throw, and assuming he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third down and seven. trying to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clanked you, moron. He said balls, not bells. And the quarterback calls a son, and he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Landis, Landis. Ah, oh, shit. You came for ten. I'm only thinking how much. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are going for it. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting. Watch out. The ball carriers brought a chainsaw to the field. Six yards on the play. Third down and three. 
opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. QB, I'd be pissed. And out comes the most underrated position in foot. And that takes us to the two minute warning. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in time, Grant. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Boom! And it's first and ten. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and two. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. It's two-yard run before he stopped. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. The timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot. First down. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Rick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good... The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head... And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. <laughs> here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? This guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And that'll bring up second and one. Third down and five. Caught for the first down. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him second down in a lot oh and did he just put on a display there touchdown hey you see that move baby no you didn't you know what that's too fast for you i'm the greatest the greatest i tell you <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckle. Hot two. Hot. 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 The quarterback just had enough and calls a murder ball. Dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Oh, no. 
that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two. want some payback after that. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. First down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And these guys are not giving the quarterback many passing lanes to hit a receiver. Nice block by the defense there. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a ball's feelings are hype. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Third down and three. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Man, oh, man, he hit that 
line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Brick. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And here comes the extra point attempt. turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from priming the ref, no kill the quarterback? Or actually playing some day. That's right. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company, Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third and four. Oh, man, 
talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, you just ran into a buzzsaw. We see how this goes. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. Kicked on the ground and got a much needed conversion. Much like the well dressed young men who won't stop knocking at my door no matter how many times I tell them, we worship Satan in my house. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! At some point, they're going to need to put this rip out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and six. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Right. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Hot. And that player has one speed. He's out. Anyone in the mood for steak tartare? He's at the 20, the 10. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't want to make any mistakes.
chopsticks here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Seamus Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it, Lee. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Second down, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling that... Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost power and green, like a high cool. <laughs> the defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Having all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. And a score! That's his dance? My floor wizard vacuum bot has better moves. I dance with my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make a dinner and buy a perfume, you pervert. Uh, only on a birthday! And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. He'll be going outside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Chris Matt's stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. You've got to catch that. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his. The Creeps pound the opposition to hell and win it home today. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? If I paid for admission, I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome.
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.